everyone, Asian here, and welcome back to Rune King uh, League of Legends story. So, I took the liberty to return to uh, the Grove back from the Shadow Vaults. Just, you know, cut down a little bit of time here, so let's go ahead and have another chat with Maokai. Little ones, my root once again takes hold. And my energy begins to replenish. If slowly, I am in your debt. Your leaves are already greener. A welcome sight. <laughs> How this ordeal has taken much of my strength to fully restore the grove to breach the walls of mist. <laughs> it will take time. Time? We don't have any. We need to keep going. I can offer no alternative. The Buru have battled back the mist for thousands of years. There must be something my people can do, that I can do. Yes, the Buru. Before the ruination, the monks of the Blessed Isles would travel to the Serpent Isles to make contact with your ancestors. I thought those but rumors, myths. If you doubt me, search the coast along the Serpent Isles. There is a temple below the sea, where the Buru taught some from the Blessed Isles to commune with your mother serpent. Impossible. If such word has not been passed down in Buru legend, how can I find... I will find it. Ripper? I have seen things in the deep. Then you know of this place. Get me close. The Undertow will call to me. Take this seed, grant it the Mother Serpent's blessing. With it full of life, I can restore the grove and crush the mist that stands in your way. It will be done. Until we meet again, Maokai. Well, I guess we're down in the Shadow Isles for a while, huh? So I suppose we would be able to continue there or something? Once we've done that? My roots are cleansed, but your healer will take time. Okay, yeah, well, hmm. Oh, probably here, huh? Yeah, uh, that's... Yeah, that looks like a good lead somewhere. Alright, gotcha. Uh, I guess we can go back to Trump. Oh, maybe we can now talk to... What's his name? Pilf... Piltover? I think it was Piltover, right? Maybe the quest will activate now. Now that we've, you know, advanced the story a little bit. Because strangely enough, I think some of the side quests are actually gated by uh, main story progression. So even though you can technically accept the quest, um, you can't start it. So let's see if that issue has been resolved. Yeah, looks like there are some more mistwalkers showing up. Guess you've been busy out there. Been alone out here for a long while. Your company's gonna take some getting used to. Both of those lost are unfriendly. There are some really nasty ones out there, and someone should take care of them before they cause too much trouble. Would you consider hunting them down? Sure. There's things worth looking up after all. There are three extremely powerful mistwalkers that have come crawling out of the dark. There's a troubling fellow close to here in the ruined port. The others popped up in the graveyard near the grove. Then there's a final mistwalker on the forest path near the shadow vault. Okay then. I guess we can take care of that. So can we finally activate this? Uh, 
An Indian gave enchanted as far as the quest into a corner of the ruins. There seems to be a small empty indentation that might fit some kind of arcane orb. Perhaps strings that could restore the power to the fawn. Yeah, it seems like we have to open now. An Indian gave as far as the Uh, yeah. Already had that. Uh, so. Did I activate it? Do I have new enchantments? Hmm, I guess so. At least I can't remember seeing these before. Well, let's say, yeah, that these are new. 171 stamina, huh? Jesus Christ. Uh, let's also talk to the rumor monger and see if anything new is going on there. But first, let's just take care of this powerful mist walker. That is supposed to be here. Guess it's that one. Do you always pick fights you Harpooner. Know and a shield bearer. Less deck of weakness to each champion every turn, reducing attack power. Oh, This physical taking about 30%. Gets attack anticipation per stack of weakness on champions. This bit increases haste. Oh my god. That dude is trouble. Reduces all damage by 20% while casting an ability. Upon death, inflicts a stack of terror on the champion that killed them. At 20 stacks, terror deals 80% of a max health as true damage and removes all stack of terror. Oh, God. I uh, still think that maybe I should get rid of the shield bearer first. Uh, this is tough. This is really tough. Another heal. Patience, little ones. You have my gratitude. I would say we have this one in the bag. Oh, this is a fight thing, too. Well, this should be a Pretty quick idea, let's say. Yay. Ready to be unleashed. Yeah. I've got to keep my instincts in check. All right. One 
one down, two more. Exactly. So why don't we go ahead and quickly do that then? Uh, where did he say were they? Near the Shadow Vaults? And the Graveyard. So let's go to the Grove. And once again visit the Graveyard, my favorite area with all these friggin' executioners roaming about. Mm. I hate it. Also, I should have probably gone to the Rumor Monger first just to see if there are any more side quests I could take on before I... And now I have this trip around everywhere. Ah, well. It is what it is now. Also, maybe I can now take on more bounties again, or finally that bounty in the Grey Harbor is there. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, are all of these going to be the same fight? Not exactly, but they're all harpooners. Ah. Fight the little ones first this time. Yikes. Kindness. I thought this is all enemies. Guess I was mistaken. <laughs> Actually, what's his second ultimate? to the grave one more exactly pike exactly i guess we just have to go to the dreadwood to find the last one so let's get to it interesting though that the first one at the docks had a special enemy besides him this one didn't except these assassins who fought before Hmm. Oh well. I don't mind. Alright, let's see here. It's all the way over by the Shadow Vaults though, so I... Yes. I could just quickly warp to the Shadow Vaults and then go backwards out. 
so I don't have to fight my way through the dreadwoods again. I mean, I could just go ahead and do that, but why would I? All it takes is a couple of loading screens. Just a little patience. Let's just hope that the reward is actually going to be worth it. Because if not, well, that's what suck. Let's go back this way. And through another loading screen. All right, I guess it's another harpooner. Yep. Ha! Huh. Okay. I won't back down. Combined forces this time. Oh, it was kind of to be expected, I suppose. Forget that. Knock him down. Never get so. Shield. I forgot. Dead. Sure, over too soon. Guess Pike is disappointed. <laughs> but yeah, that was actually some pretty quick fights. I don't think I'm actually over leveled though. I mean, I'm definitely at the higher end of the level range that I would. Or that the developers intend you to be here, I think. Simply because, you know, I did take a short while to level while I was in Grey Harbor at the beginning of the game, but... <sighs> it's not a lot, I don't think. I mean, then again, I, I'm just really starting to notice how much a difference it makes that we have Braum back in the party instead of Pike. It really is a lot safer to have him taunt and just take the hits. I 
You took care of them? Wow, all this time I've been out here, I never thought I'd hear any good news. I don't know what else to say, but don't you take this for your troubles? Money. Really? I mean, it's 800 money, but... Yeah. I sure was hoping for a bit more of that, dude. Oh. <laughs> What kind of philosopher kicked me out of my favorite pavilion? Instead of all that junk about hidden potential and secret power, I should try learning some manners. Huh? This isn't fair. Uh, I guess here? Chat. It's crazy stirring up around here. Best be prepared. Live a long life on these isles, and you never know what to expect. Recommend swapping up while you can. Oh. Oh, there. Wait, such potential. You, come here for a moment. The shade sizes up the party with the way Julia might evaluate a gemstone. You must be foreigners of a style too. Take special sword to reach these blessed isles. You are strong, yes, but I sense an untapped power in you. Miss Walker pauses on that sentiment before rising into her finale. Become my disciples and together we shall unleash that power. Who are you? Cautious, I see. That is fair. As foreigners to this land, I suppose you've never heard the opportunity to learn of Kalia, philosopher, scholar, and teacher of men, she boasts. That is for the consequence. There is greater potential within you. Should you become my disciples, I might unleash it. What do you say? Oh, hey, we already have something for her. Aren't you a Mistwalker? Mistwalker? What do you mean? The shade stares at you, confused. How would you help us? I can tell you not a person to be trifled with, so fear not. I merely wish to see mankind, and thus die in kind, reach the fullest potential. That is compensation enough. How would you unlock this power? Kalia cracks a wry smile. Well, that depends. There are as many paths to enlightenment as there are people. In this case, there are six. She chuckles. Okay. Wonderful! You shall remember the day you made the decision to have Kalia take you under her wing. Now, we should unlock the potential first. I think we have something for Yasuo, all right? Destruction. What do you know of the blade? What could it teach me about the sword? Nothing, Kalia states flatly. I have nothing to teach you about the blade. You are a master of your craft. The scroll you carry with you is proof of that. It will take time to decipher its meaning. I could read it to you, but something tells me you'd rather I didn't. No, following other people's teachings isn't exactly my style. Oh. oh ho 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 Let's have a look at it. Ultimate ability <laughs> She gets three thousand nine hundred seventy five damage and calls all allies to act immediately. Oof Okay. Ooh. That's something. Okay, Ari. Skalia turns against to Ari. Her smile hardens. Vestaya, you seek many things about yourself, your past. Do not lose the warrior in the process. The social your past obscures the present. How do you know this? The conflict is evident. You hold back. You don't know what I'm capable of. You don't know me. At all. And neither do you. It is a difficult line to walk, but you must kn you must if you are to truly know yourself. You are strong, Ari. But as long as you run from your power, as long as you are afraid to use it, it serves no one. Not even you. You wouldn't say that if you knew. Close your eyes. Look deep within yourself. You see? You have nothing to fear, as long as you don't lose your focus. Maybe you're right. See, the power was latent within you all along. That was easy. Land a kingdom on 25 days with Ari. I see. So as long as we already have um, satisfied the necessary condition, we can get the abilities straight away. That's nice. 
They deal 693 magic damage to all enemies in the place. Poison, bleed, sunder, ignite, chill, and magic sunder. <laughs> Dealing 809 damage all three turns to each. Reducing haste by 30% for one turn and increasing physical and magic damage taken by 10% for 10 turns. What the heck? She just deals everything to them. Okay, more. Braum! Will you instruct Braum, little teacher? Of course I will teach you, Kelly Chuckles. You're a protector, a great defender, but sometimes doing what is right requires going on the offensive. To protect the weak, he must sometimes take the initiative. Braum nods enthusiastically. To that end, I challenge you to return with a token of purity given by the people of the Serpent Isles in honor of an act of service. Would like me to help someone in the Serpent Isles? Of course! But I have not heard of this token of purity in Bilgewater. Braum will search elsewhere. Okay. Hilawi. Priestess, I am to instruct a truth bearer such as yourself, Kalyabos as Hilawi approaches. Though I might not possess your knowledge of the goddess Nagaburas, there is an item I will leave for the Lawi to harness more of her favor. There was an idol, a simple cube of quartz representing Nagaburas' twin role as destroyer and regenerator of life, which was given an offering to the sea. Kali continues, I can sense this idol's presence now on land. If you turn to the goddess, she might grant you further blessings. Offering to the goddess, dredged up, who had risked its sacrilege? Perhaps it was retrieved accidentally. You must trust the Nagaburus that it is so. The tides come in and out throughout the great sea. Over millennia, all things change. Perhaps the idol has ended up on a friendly shore, or on a traveler's catch. Miss Fortune. As Miss Fortune steps to the front of the group, Kalia exhales and chuckles to herself. My dear, you hardly need my training. It is clear to me that you have already marshaled your strength and hardened your will. But still, there is something you lack. After a brief moment for consideration, Kalia speaks once again. Yes, yes, I think I've got it. You are an adept sailor, mistress of a vast fleet. But you cannot use that power away from the sea. If you find a way for your naval power to affect those on land, you will be unstoppable. But this is not something I can teach you. Bunch of help that was. Of course, it would be helpful for my ships too. Wait, there was a foundry in Grey Harbor, working on a long-range cannon. I wonder what happened to it after the harrowing. Okay. And Pike. Now you would have slain three revenants. It is done. Those revenants are dead. Oh, do you feel any different? No. Ever the killer. You are stronger now, regardless. We shall see. Huh. Oh, I guess that was just the quest we just did, huh? You know, with the three things for Piltover. Deals 3,290 damage. Deals in a Additional 42 per stack of any hero on the target. Uh, that is kind of out of whack, isn't it? Alright, yeah. Got some ultimate abilities here. Only three more to go. Can, I guess we can check where that is, huh? Find a token of purity. Penitence Path, Revelations of Walk. Don't think we've been here, have we? A purification table. We haven't, but it's right there at the beginning, I suppose. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, the Idol. And Baron's Rest. Okay. Maybe in the Crucible? Could be. And the cannon. Somewhere in Grey Harbor, huh? Oh, it's over the... No. That is just... Well, it might have something to do with the bounty that we are supposed to do there, so... Who knows? Maybe let's actually go back to Bilgewater first and have a look at the bounty board there. Before we set sail for the Serpent Coast. Also, let's talk to you. Any more rumors? Curious visitor. The new visitor has returned about Baron's rest. He keeps smelling to himself, but is obviously waiting for something or someone to pass through there. 
Okay. Guess we can definitely do that. Uh, oh, that's the Sepulchre Coast, okay. Have a rest. Let's go back to Pilgewater. Check on things there. Maybe there are some more rumors there as well. That would be swell. Could definitely do with some more of those. I'm gonna definitely really go back to Grey Harbor and see if we can uh, do something with that bounty there now. Because, you know, normally we can get some pretty good equipment out of these bounty things, though I can't even remember. Oh, I think it's just that ring that grants you more money that we get from that. Ah, oh, still. No, no more bounties here. Since you have probably to go to Grey Harbor anyway for Misfortune's ultimate ability, you might as well. No new bounties. But yeah, we can still get the Sneaky Cheaters ring. Oh, it only gives bonus damage, yeah, it's probably not that great, but still. It's a lot of money and black marks. Hope we can get out of that. Alright, yeah. Guys, I think we've made it to the end of yet another episode, so... Uh, I guess at the beginning of the next one I will be over in Grey Harbor to have a look around there. And once we're taking care of business, we can go ahead and travel to the southern coast. How about it? Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.